Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing the last mission that uh, involves, well not really the last, but I'll show you what I mean. We're going to Core Hall. We have the Odin. Now we can use it to spearhead our takeover of the UNN studios on Core Hall. Once the Odin has taken out their defenses, we'll broadcast our evidence against Mengsk. Figure they'll throw everything they have at us. They'll be talking about this one for years. All right, let's go. Our raid on the Valhalla facility hasn't even been reported yet. The Dominion have no idea we stole the Odin. I had to call in every favor I had, but I got the Odin on the surface with Tychus inside. Matt, you're a miracle worker. Must have been a complicated operation. You don't even want to know, sir. I'm not going to let anything keep us from exposing Minsk. So they're still expecting to film it at the UNN studios later today? That's right. And we won't disappoint them. Seeing as he's the only one with experience, Tychus will pilot the Odin and hit the studio guards with a surprise attack. They'll be confused for several minutes, and won't even know who to attack at first. And during the confusion, we'll establish a forward base using this command center we acquired earlier. Pretty devious, Matt. I like it. If Tychus can inflict enough damage during the sneak attack, Making the broadcast should be relatively easy. Keep in mind, we'll only have a few minutes before the Dominion realize that Tychus is in the Odin. Once they figure it out, they'll use everything they've got to stop us. Whatever happens, we'll be giving Mex one hell of a broadcast. Let's do this. Not gonna be enough. <clears throat> Anyways, we get the Thors, and this is one of the missions when, uh, where uh, the unit you get is actually extremely useful. Um, useful all the time? Eh, maybe, not so much, but it's a useful, a useful unit nonetheless. Um, bucket loads of health, tons of fun, so, um, it's, as I said, it's, it's, a, it's a mission I really like. Um, surprise attack is kind of pointless, but, you know, might as well do it anyways. Uh, it lets us do it, and we just do the, the base that's closest to us. And we also had the opportunity to get a, a little bit of a secret mission as well, which is kind of cool as well. Which, uh, of course, yes, I'll be doing that. I, I've done every I've done every mission up to this point. I'm not exactly going to stop now, so just stay tuned for that. Oh boy! Before starting the surprise attack, decide which enemy base you want to crush. How about all of them? Now you can't do all of them. You only you don't have that much time. It's less time than you think. It's it's literally just barely enough to get one. I'm in the Dominion security network, bringing up their locations now. All right, Takis, do your thing. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the civilians there. They followed me home. Can I keep? Gone rogue. Repeat, Odin has gone rogue. Bring it down. Attention, rogue pilot. This is General Warfield of Dominion Command. You're ordered to stand down or face immediate termination. Make room for the big dog. Let's try that. Ragnar, rock and roll. We don't need no stinking heavy. Duty. Oh wow, just got blown up. Rogue I like <laughs> Bring it down. Rogue Odin. This it's a fun mission. You get to like just wreck, wreck, uh, rain havoc on everything. That's pretty much the best part. And we'll get this guy. The only issue is, yeah, they do get one hit in. But most of the time you can get him. And. Mainly what I'm after is the production facilities. So that's kind of what's important. And, oh shit, I should have gotten that factory too. Ah, uh, whatever. Slight error. You don't actually even have to attack uh, the add-ons. I've, I've noticed. They get destroyed automatically. Which is awesome. But at this point, we've now basically expended all of the uh, 
uh, everything at our disposal. So at this point, I'm just bring I'm just bringing it all down. Oh, apparently the angle matters. Look at that. That's interesting. When I'm down here, it, it starts to attack it. An alert's gone out. It won't be long before they shut me out of their system. Don't rush me, kid. Can a man take some pleasure in his work? <laughs> I think there's much else. Make room for the big. Uh, it's just one bunker there. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Big dog is off. Oh, uh, we got a minute to go. This will go destroy the missile turret. And that's what I mean. You get it's not enough time to go to another base, but it is enough time to do this. Oh, I didn't destroy that. You know, some key some key buildings. Some key tech buildings. Actually, I actually have a lot more health than when I what I had before. Alright, we'll go get these guys. There you go. Heavy duty. Ha! Huh, damn. Nothing but a smoking crater. Ah, there we go. The Dominion switched to a secure channel. I can't track their positions anymore. Won't matter. But I have gained access to the UNN network. We'll need troops to stay close to one of the broadcast towers long enough to get our message out. For our broadcast to reach all of Dominion space, we'll need to control each broadcast tower long enough to upload the data. Any unit type can maintain control. You can bet Max will have something to say about that. Let's get moving. See, didn't they start mining? What the hell is this? They're slacking off here. Our base is up and running. I'm transferring control of it to you now, sir. There we go. We're just gonna build up. Gas is a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the ass to obtain here, but it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Hardware inbound. These stores are smaller than the Odin, but they handle better and they still hit hard. Enjoy. Right, I'm just bringing the the Odin up here because it's uh. There's a base here, and I can go and uh, take this out. <laughs> Just destroy statues randomly. All right. Well, uh, I think the first thing we need is definitely. Oh wait, wait. We want to do upgrades. That's right. I I just pump the crap out of SCVs for the beginning part here. There's a bunch of different things you can do, but that's primarily what my strategy is. I need to get a supply depot, though. And right over here is our secret. It's just a science facility, so... I just, that's why you just run for it at the beginning. Nothing should attack you that's too threatening, so... Should. They, they come, like, straight after, though. There you go. There it is. And now we head back. And we've unlocked the secret mission. Like a boss. Alright, I'm gonna move the barracks all the way back here. And keep training Marines and stuff. Uh, whoops, I should have that over there. I'm gonna go make a starport also while I'm at it. But he'll come back just in time to defend anything, if anything comes. Hey, anyone kills, just by him. Alright, good enough defense for now. So now we just have to basically build up, and that's uh, pretty much the extent of what we're doing here right now. Huh. I'm probably gonna lift this up actually uh, right after, because uh, this is a this is a little bit covering I think that over there. Actually, I actually have no doubt about that right now. His cannons are pretty sick though. His cannons are just crazy. Alright. There we go. Land that little sucker there. And I usually I usually do focus on the vehicle plating first because um, Odin's are gonna be primarily what we use for this mission, if you haven't really guessed that already. Alright, go here. There we are. 
And planetary fortresses are also going to come in handy here, which is also very nice. Everyone loves planetary fortresses. There you go. Multiple SCVs. All in one building. <laughs> Alright, let's go start building our next command center. That's usually fairly important. Oh man, I love that double building stuff with the SCVs. Oh, it's so nice. Alright, uh, let's go and start building science vessels. That's gonna be that's what that's gonna really gonna what gonna be what repairs these guys because uh, I you know if you bring SCVs along they're gonna just like get killed a lot although the sensors aren't fast they're just nice because of the fact that they're um they they're 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 just easy they don't get attacked that much and they can repair each other SCVs are like really really weak alright. That, that dual building thing comes in so much handy. Oh. Alright. Well, you guys can go do that. Uh... I think we're pretty much good. Let's get this guy to repair that, because he's good. Like, it goes much faster, because SCVs are really good at repairing. But it's okay. You know, the, you know what the second nicest thing is? Uh, look at their health. It's it's going up with every upgrade that I get. Insufficient Vespine gas. Uh, okay, this guy. Let's go over here and just park him right here. Let's see we're still building up, but we're going to get uh, some more resources there. We're actually going to take out the top here because that always is usually a problem. I've I've always noticed they're gonna attack you from up there. See, we we just have no gas, but we're gonna get siege breakers, which doesn't help the gas situation at all. I know, but you know, it it allows us to have defense, which is I think what's important right now. Build some missile turrets just for base defense. All right. But I don't want to go quite after the the towers just as of yet. We're literally just here just to take this crap out. Hey, they can double train. Well, of course they have a reactor on it. We I just destroyed it. There we go. And we're gonna tr turn that sucker into a planetary fortress. And we're done with that. That's pretty much the extent of what I'm doing there. I um, guess I'll move a couple of SCVs by, back up here. Build some more down here. Uh, just build, lay down some mules. There we go. These are nice. Alright, everybody, come on. Uh, uh, now we're getting a nice amount of gas coming in. We need lots of supply depots. Because I'm starting to run out now. I already technically have, because of the Thors. Damn Thors, so fat. Takes so much, so much supply. Six supply for this. There's only one guy doing the. There's only one guy in the thing. Stupid game. Not letting me have enough Thors. All right, I want to get this though. There we go. We'll uh, get these guys just in time too. I really want to do actually some upgrades to those missile turrets. Oh, nice! Holy jeez! All right. Let's see what this baby's got. Uh, I'm almost satisfied with how this is going. I just need to get. I just want a group of Vikings. That's a negatory. It's blocked. What's blocked? Oh. Big job, huh? There you go. Yes, sir. And we can do go pop down some more uh, mules. And you know, I'll just build a couple more SCVs. Mostly because we're running out of resources right now. They followed me home. But it's it's all for good reason. I'm building so much right now. These things also eventually run out, which is also kind of sucky. Alright. I think we're pretty almost good. I, yeah, we'll start the attack. I think the rest is okay. 
You know, they never really use cloakers in the campaign, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know if there's any point in which they do. You never need detection, it seems. Yeah, I don't think at any point you really do. Maybe maybe one of the Protoss missions, they send some DTs at you, but you, you're usually doing air by them. Like battle cruisers and shit. Even on Brutal, they it would be kind of nice if they had like one or two attacks where there's like a whole bunch of guys. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to set the rally, rally points. Uh, let's do two more science vessels and then some more Vikings. Alright. Meals come down. Ah, oh, that's a nice amount of minerals coming in. So there's like two bases right beside you, and there's also one apparently there, but I never really go for that. There's like no gas near it, I think. I don't really see any gas, so I'm gonna assume there's none. And how many Vikings do we have? That's that's a, that's a fair number. Still want more though. These guys should really make some more. Supply depots all over the place. There we go. Mineral field depleted. Yeah, we'll just take take this all down. All right, we're good enough. Let's go uh, take this over. The thing with Thor's is that this is they're kind of slow and uh, it's kind of hard to beat this mission in 20 minutes, which is what you're supposed to do. All right, bring everyone up. Team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. I'm wondering if that's a Star Wars reference. I don't really know. Damn it. Barrage. Oh, whatever. It's too late for that. I'll just go barrage them. Fuck. There we go. And there's race. So terrible. Terrible, terrible race. And they're gonna bring down units. Apparently, that can all fit inside it and gets unloaded immediately. And this is why we brought the Vikings. Battle crew, they're not equipped to deal with Thors, and we're gonna lose a Thor. Yeah, whatever, it's okay. Alright, everyone back up. And they got, we got a little attack going on here. Let's just get rid of the SCV. Kinda wish I did do that attack. Look, oh man, it repairs itself. It repairs itself. First transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Alright, we're now heading in the uh, other direction. There's only one man arrogant enough to think he can get away with this. Rainer. Rainer. Just for once, Arcturus, this really is all about you. I hope you enjoy our show. I knew it. Barfield, take your men down there. I want Rainer's head, you understand? Him and all his terrorist friends. This baby's got. I was wondering if I could crush people. Is he gonna crush people? Yeah, he does. He doesn't give a fuck. Alright. This mighty steel giant stands as a testimony to the skill and determination of our Dominion engineers and scientists. Ready to blunder. Oh, I'm not gonna do anything about that. Hey, and we just take over this base because we just ran out of minerals here, so might as well. Wow. Well, looks like we're done with the supply depots. Alright, and we just go land this sucker right where the old one was. There you go. And it's just really in the nick of time, which is kind of cool. It's timed so well. And the rest of you guys can go and do this stuff. Do this crap. Oh fuck! Come on. God. And go land. Okay, there we go. You can go do this. All right, and then we get like two guys to build some turrets, and then we're good. That's it. Uh, these th these bases don't need to be defended by us, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's the, that's the great thing about these planetary fortress upgrades, and you know we have bases on either end as well, and uh, all the gas. It's so nice. Uh, I don't really know why I have this guy here. Guess we'll just uh, keep building here. 
We run, we're, see, we're running out of gas once again. Like the gas is, as I said, a real shortage when you do when you work with this many Thors, uh, especially their upgrade, which I'll I'll, I'll show you when we uh, when we finish the mission. They, they're very gas intensive, but that's why we have these things because you can you can put them anywhere on the map. It's just these are the only ones. So I figured I might as well not even bother. And they kind of repair slow. 441 it's HP. That's a nice bonus. That's why I have the HP bonus. This guy would have been dead if it wasn't for that. Oh, uh, I love Vikings. Actually, let's get more Vikings, because I love them so much. Looks like we're going we're gonna to cap the supply limit really soon. You know, you can technically just rush through it, I guess. I guess that's a, that's a good way of uh, finishing it under the, uh, the allotted amount of time that you're supposed to have. You go just kill this guy. Destroy him. Oh, why can't I follow? Where'd the owner go? Okay. Security breach at one of the towers. Strike team alpha, engage. Stop him. And here they come. You can barrage them. I'm just lazy. Where's the Odin? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, they they don't really stand a chance, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> against this many throwers, they they you know they have some units that can do damage against the armor, like that guy's sort of taking damage, but not enough. Uh, four six three now. That's a lot of. That's why I did this one because it's like that's a lot of HP. Oh no! Oh, that hurt. I probably could spread them and crap, but who does that? Bring some more Vi these guys, and then maybe two more Vikings. That's basically it. I'm I'm now capped. Oh wow, these guys have no energy. Okay, uh, 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 cancel those guys. We're gonna do two more science missiles. We're almost done transmitting Mech's dirty little secret to the Dominion. All right, and to the last one, which which is gonna be really easy. Like there's nothing there as it is. I, you know, technically I didn't even need to take over this base, but, you know, I did anyways, because I can. It's just how I roll. But I took it out the first, so it was close. That's why I'm doing, like, plating first, because it gives me everything more HP. Oh, fucking guy. Where Where's the rally point going? It's supposed to go right straight to the Odin. Why, do, why are they constantly stopping? Let's see what this baby's got. Because it would have been nice to actually have some science levels with energy. They start with a lot of energy, though. Like, these guys almost have full. These guys have, like, 173. Oh, that upgrade is so good. I never realized how good it was. I got the other one. I forgot what that is. Oh, the, the slowly regenerating vehicles. Alright. Oh wow. So much rape. Oh wow. And now they're coming over here. Silly Vikings. And we'll keep keep them going. No, someone someone has to stay here. There you go. They're all getting repaired. My Vikings are better. <laughs> Alright, and we're basically done here. Easiest mission. This is brutal, can you believe it? That's the last one. Let's see what the people will think of their beloved Emperor now. That's what you are able to build with that much resources. All transmissions have been sent, sir. Every world in the Dominion just got a UNN special bulletin about Mengsk. There you go, it took me 20 minutes, so definitely not quite the 20 minutes, uh, but that's on hard, and you could probably just skip through the buildings, I was just destroying buildings for fun. I lost six units, and one of them was probably the SUV of my own hands, holy crap.
Six units is pretty good. I like that number. Anyways, let's go see what's happening on the news. Which is always the best part, because we've been watching the news up to now. It's always been... Rainer eats babies. But the tables have turned. Also, the secret mission should be fun. That's going to be a really good one. If it decides to load in this century. There we go. I think I'm downloading something. These shocking revelations, veritable firestorm of anti menx sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. Sir, how do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Of using aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I will stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. It won us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. He's so mean to his group of misfits. Alright, let's go watch the news some more, because it's so interesting. News! Kate Lockwell here, live from Core Hall. There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Tarsonis. I had a brother there. Um, I, um... Right. Uh, th th thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, okay, Emperor Manx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Mengsk has been revealed as a... Off the air. Alright, to the lab and we're gonna go... Uh, I don't think I have any more points. Guess we'll see. Nope. That was a normal bonus, I think. Uh, I guess, uh, to the bridge. Those classified documents we found on Core Hall weren't anything special. Just referred to some old bioweapons lab orbiting Castanar. I think this one might be different. The files suggest they were planning to terminate everyone who ever worked there. I assume that doesn't mean firing them. But why would Manx want to kill a whole research staff? I don't know. But it seems like something we should check out. Does indeed. And take us. Well, so you're thinking about giving up this life of luxury and becoming a professional broadcaster? Oh, regular folks just ain't ready for the raw sex appeal I'd unleash into the great little lives. I reckon my niche is right here with you, old buddy. 
right to the end. I'm glad you're part of all this, Tigus. You did real good today. Alright, and armory. <laughs> you see? Told you I could build something better than that piece of crap, Odin. I like that. That's the spirit, brother. Shomu's boss. Got some work to do on the chassis still. But I got to thinking about upgrades and variants, you know? They ain't gonna be cheap, cowboy. Big honk a thing like that never is. But they'll be worth it, you'll see. That's what I like to hear. I'll take a look and see what's affordable. Alright. Here comes my favorite part. Okay, so here are the upgrades for the, th the Thor. These are really both good. Okay, first of all you have the... Pretty much it's like the Odin cannon. That's pretty much what it is. Splash damage. I don't even know why they did this. Because that's just like, you get the stun and you get the... You get all that fun stuff. Okay. That's the first one. So this is okay. Um, I'll probably get that. This is the best fucking thing in the world, okay? Basically what it does is, when the Thor dies, it leaves its corpse, which then you can use to basically rebuild itself, and it's the immortality protocol. Uh, and there you go, it's just rebuilding itself right on the field. And... Good to go. So basically, it, it ensures that you'll never lose Thors, and all it costs, like basically what it does is, um, it's it's basically faster, I think, than building a... Th yeah, it's faster than rebuilding a Thor. It doesn't use your factory up, and it only costs gas. And there's a, there's a couple of missions which you get a lot of gas. Uh, one in particular, which which I'm going to be doing, and it's just so much fun to use Thor's on that one. So definitely that this one. Um, I guess I might as well go for this as well because you know Thor's are pretty sweet, and I think I'm actually going to go for the uh, increases turret life by 75. That's, that sounds fine. I mean, why not? Like at this point, I've gotten all the research I think I want. It's just I think it's just battle cruisers left, and you can't upgrade science vessels and all that kind of crap. So, like I have these. I I don't use diamondbacks. I don't use vultures. I don't use Goliaths. I don't use Hellions. I don't use Wraiths. Um, I don't need this because I <laughs> I have the the double things. Firebats kind of suck. Um, Marauders not so great. Uh, plus I have I have. You know, marines for light units as well. Marauders, well, marauders are okay, but you can't stim them, which is a problem. And you know, I don't, I don't really get them in any missions, anyways, uh, to start off with. Um, I could get them in the secret mission, but I don't know. Reapers suck, as we know. Um, I'm doing all the base stuff already, uh, and then ghost. You know, probably I'll go upgrade this at some point. Uh, might as well. I haven't used them yet, but uh, I, I think I'll find a mission that I can make use of them. Maybe the next one. I'll, oh, sorry, the, the one after. I'll, I'll make use of them. And that's basically it. Uh, and we got we still have a crap ton of money to go as well. Don't forget that. We, so I'm just gonna probably just invest in other things just for the just for the hell of it. So I hope you guys are enjoying, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.